I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about properties of power series. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about section 9.2 on the properties of power series and I want to start with problem number 17. And problem 17 asks us to find the radius of convergence and the interval of convergence for the following power series. And the power series we're starting with is the sum of x over 3 raised to the k power. All right, so to find the radius of convergence and interval of convergence for a power series, I need to use one of the tests that I know to figure out which x values will give me convergent series. So uh, the test that's the most often used is just going to be um, <clears throat> the ratio test. So let's use the ratio test here to help us. So I want to know, when does this thing converge? So the ratio test tells me, okay, uh, let's look at the limit as k goes to infinity of, and this is important, we need an absolute value around this. We want all of these guys to be positive, and one little trick it, that this can play on you is it looks very positive. There's an x and a 3 and a k, none of them look negative, but we have to remember that x could be a negative number, and if x is a negative number, then there actually are negatives in this thing. So we have to be a little bit careful, but if we just put an absolute value around everything up here in the ratio test, everything's fine. So remember to put the absolute value in and then we put in the k plus first term of this sequence on top. So I get x over 3 to the k plus first power and on the bottom I put in the kth term which is x over 3 to the kth power. All right. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. If I have something to the k plus first divided by something to the kth power, I'm just left with the limit as k goes to infinity of x over 3 to the first power. Which, of course, there are no k's in x over 3, so the limit as k goes to infinity is just x over 3. Now, uh, what I didn't do is I didn't keep my absolute value sign in there, and I need it. All right, so we've got absolute value here, limit as k goes to infinity of absolute value of x over 3, which is just the absolute value of x over 3. Now, remember I'm doing the ratio test, and I want to know, does this series converge or diverge? Well, the ratio test converges when what I get out of the ratio test is less than 1. So if I want this thing to converge, the absolute value of x over 3 needs to be less than 1. When does that happen? Well, if the absolute value of x over 3 is less than 1, another way of saying that is that x over 3 lives between negative 1 and 1. So this is the same thing. The absolute value of x over 3 being less than 1 is the same thing as negative 1 being less than x over 3 is less than 1. Now I can multiply all sides by 3 and I get that that tells me that minus 3 is less than x is less than 3. And right off the bat, this gives me my radius of convergence. So uh, we're not sure if 3 converges or minus 3 converges at this point, but I do know my radius of convergence. It is uh, half of the distance of this interval, the interval 6, so my radius of convergence is 3. Okay, So if I'm looking for radius of convergence here, call that capital R typically, we're talking about 3. So I've got my radius of convergence, now I need my interval of convergence, and we're pretty close. This is almost my interval of convergence. The only difference is, well, possibly it converges at 3, and possibly it converges at minus 3. So we need to check it out. What if we went back to the original 
series over here and x was 3. Okay, if x was 3, uh, let me write this down real quick. If x is equal to 3, then the series we have over here is the sum of 3 over 3, which is 1, to the k. In other words, it's the sum of a bunch of 1s. The sum of a bunch of 1s is infinity, so it diverges. So this would diverge. What if x were equal to negative 3? Uh, let's say x is equal to negative 3. Then what do we have? We have the sum. If I plug in negative 3 for x here, I get negative 1 to the k. So I get minus 1 to the k. But that's something like 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. That oscillates and diverges. All right, so this also diverges. So if x is 3, it diverges. If x is minus 3, it diverges. So this, in fact, is my interval of convergence. So my radius of convergence, in this case, is 3. Interval of convergence is negative 3 is less than x is less than 3. So if I wanted to write a final answer over here, I might say my radius of convergence is 3, and my interval is equal to the interval from minus 3 to 3. And we are done.